you can never tire of watching pictures like these. Shot 90 years ago, they're building the world's largest flying machines in the Cardington Sheds in Bedford. R100 and R101 were a pair of airships three times longer than the biggest airliner flying today. The vision was a sky full of these machines ferrying people around the world, with Cardington as the busy hub where everyone caught their flight. But it ended in tragedy, the R101 crashing on her maiden overseas flight in France. Full of explosive hydrogen, it killed 48 of the 54 people on board, including most of the designers and the government minister who commissioned it. And that spelt the end of large-scale airship travel. The giant hangars used to build the ships now film studios. But now there's a plan to bring this tale back to life. It's a tragic Titanic of a story and actually would have meant that Bedford really was the Heathrow of the airship had that dream become a reality. So we think it's a story that needs to be told and remembered. This empty room at the Higgins Gallery was meant to be hosting an R101 exhibition. It's been delayed until next year because of Covid, but they want your help. They want to know people's stories. They want to know if people have got airship artefacts, perhaps in their loft, if they know what their grandparents have to do with the airships back in Cardington sheds when they were still used. In fact, a group of artists from across the country has already started working on next April's exhibition. Despite Covid, they did manage to spend one day together working through ideas, including creating this film. I'm very fortunate that I've managed to get this amazing team of people together to work with me in this collaboration. I was brought up in Bedford, so I did see barrage balloons on the horizon over Cardington. I did see Skyship 600, the Goodyear balloon as it was known. Um, you'd hear, the, you'd hear the, the drone of the engine and run out in the back garden in um, Putnam and have a look up at the sky and watch it go over. And my dad was a sort of keen enthusiast to take me over to the sheds. And we rise up. Well, the R101 has just been brought from a hangar. These are mesmerising, quite spooky images. It is an incredible story, now being kept alive through art. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, Bedford.